The Reading Blue Mountain and Northern Railroad reporting mark RBMN, sometimes shortened to the Reading and Northern Railroad, is a regional railroad operating in eastern Pennsylvania with headquarters located in Port Clinton. The Reading and Northern provides freight service on over 400 miles of track with this main line consisting of the Reading Division between Reading, Pennsylvania and Packerton, Pennsylvania and the Lehigh Division between Lehighton, Pennsylvania and DuPont, Pennsylvania. In addition to freight service, passenger excursions also run along the RNN system. The Lehigh Gorge Scenic Railway was a tourist railroad that operated passenger excursions along the RNN between Jim Thorpe and Lehigh Gorge State Park. That discontinued service effective November 25, 2019, due to a dispute over an amusement tax levied by the borough of Jim Thorpe. Since then, I do believe that those passenger excursions have been reinstated. Let me know in the comments if I'm wrong about that. RNN also operates passenger excursions from Reading, Pennsylvania and Port Clinton to Jim Thorpe. And starting around a year or two ago, they're now offering passenger excursions from Wilkesbury to points all around the system. The Reading and Northern acquired line spun off by Conrail in North Central Pennsylvania in December 1980. Many former Conrail entities own trackage in this area, including the line from Port Clinton to Tamaqua, which was the former Reading Line's Little Schoolkill Bridge. Opportunity knocked on the railroad's door in 1990 with another 130 miles of railroad acquired of the former Conrail territory. The Reading Cluster is trackage that was comprised of former Reading Railroad Company property extending along the Schoolkill River Valley from Reading to the heart of the anthracite coal fields in Schoolkill County. An unprecedented growth in traffic forced the RNN to upgrade the physical characteristics of the new railroad. A turnaround in the anthracite coal industry has become the mainstay of the Reading Division. Today, 
More than 50 customers on the Reading Division is served with a diversity of commodities ranging from coal to bird seed and from potatoes to even plastic. During the mid-1990s, the RNN saw more opportunity to expand their operations. Conrail began shedding trackage that was not part of its big X plan. Conrail's Lehigh line with over 100 former miles of Lehigh Valley Railroad heritage was a line that was considered marginal in Conrail's eyes. RNN did not balk at the opportunity and placed a bid for the line. In 1996, the RNN was named the successful bidder of what would become the RNN Lehigh Division. The line stretches from the southern foot of the Pocono Mountains at Lehighton to the historic cities of Wilkes-Barre and Scranton and farther into Wyoming County. An interesting side note to this acquisition would be the Canadian Pacific Railway's trackage rights that were inherited from Conrail. With these two lucrative divisions, the Reading and Northern proceeded into the next century as one of Pennsylvania's largest regional operators. Originally known as the Blue Mountain and Reading Railroad, the railroad was founded in 1983, as we talked about earlier, to provide freight service on the former Pennsylvania Railroad Schoolkill Division between Hamburg, Pennsylvania and Temple, Pennsylvania. Starting in 1985, the BM&R, that's the Blue Mountain and Reading, began operating passenger excursions over the line and two steam locomotives, the ex-Gulf Mobile and Northern Railroad 462 number 425, and the X Reading Company T1484-2102. The Blue Mountain and Reading also began operating three additional state-owned lines. Additionally, the Blue Mountain and Reading entered into a partnership with the Reading Company Technical and Historical Society who leased track space in Leesport and in return leased two diesel locomotives and assorted passenger cars for use on the line. In 1990, the Blue Mountain and Reading took ownership of 150 miles of track located in the coal region north of Reading. Shortly thereafter, the company was renamed the Reading, Blue Mountain and Northern and relocated its headquarters from Hamburg to Port Clinton. Throughout the 1990s and 2000s, the Reading and Northern acquired more lines in northeastern Pennsylvania, primarily in Reading Railroad, Central Railroad of New Jersey and Lehigh Valley Railroad Heritage. In the mid-1990s, the Reading and Northern discontinued the regularly scheduled passenger operations between Hamburg and Temple and instead focused on occasional excursions throughout the rest of its system. The partnership between the RNN and Reading Company Technical and Historical Society had more or less ended by this point, but the group still leased track space in Leesport until 2008 when they moved to the Hamburg Yard and opened the Reading Railroad Heritage Museum. Despite the discontinuation of the Hamburg to Temple excursions, steam operations continued. In 1995, both of the Reading and Northern steam locomotives were present at the grand opening of Steamtown National Historic Site in Scranton, though only the 425 was operational. The two would remain at Steamtown until 1997. Between 1998 and 2009, all steam operations were suspended.
In 2005, regularly scheduled passenger excursions resumed with the introduction of the Lehigh Gorge Scenic Railway in Jim Thorpe. In December 2016, the Reading and Northern announced that it would invest $2 million to construct a train station at Pennsylvania Route 61 and Bellevue Avenue in Muhlenberg Township outside of Reading called the Reading Outer Station with plans to operate passenger excursions from there to Jim Thorpe. On May 29, 2017, the first round-trip excursion from Reading Outer Station to Jim Thorpe operated utilizing refurbished rail diesel cars that were built by the Bud Company in the 1950s and formerly operated along the Pottsville line between Pottsville and Philadelphia via Reading until SEPTA discontinued diesel service in 1981. Between 2009 and 2010, the Reading and Northern expanded operations due to the emergence of the Marcellus Shale natural gas drilling in northeastern Pennsylvania. The railroad spent $100,000 to transform an outdated and lightly used Pittston Yard near Wilkesbury. The RNN also purchased two new locomotives, 101 rail cars, and six miles of track between Monroton and Tawanda, Pennsylvania, where much of the northeastern Pennsylvania's Marcellus Shale economic activity is focused. In 2017, the connection of the Hazelton shaft and the Hazelton Hiller drying plant to the railroad was finally finished. While wearing a black former Norfolk Southern paint scheme, Reading and Northern SD40-2 number 3062 entered the West Cressona, Pennsylvania paint shop on August 7, 2023. It emerged on September 15, 2023 as the RNN number 1983. It's decorated in a paint scheme that celebrates the 40th anniversary of the Reading and Northern Railroad. The locomotive is a tribute to the first days of the railroad operations in 1983 when the railroad was originally named the Blue Mountain and Reading, which operated 13 miles of track from Temple to Hamburg, Pennsylvania. Today, the Reading and Northern operates over 400 miles of track in nine counties. This former Burlington Northern and Norfolk Southern unit features the original Blue Mountain and Reading Herald on the nose and the blue color that was used by the first Blue Mountain and Reading diesel units in 1983. The Reading and Northern Railroad recently surpassed 1 million tons of anthracite moved over its railroad for the first time in its history. It's been the Reading and Northern's owner, Andy Muller's goal to exceed the 1 million ton mark since December 1990 when he purchased from Conrail the rail line serving Pennsylvania's anthracite coal region. Prior to Conrail's sale, the tracks had been in disrepair and rail tonnage had been in decline. After acquiring the lines, Muller began investing in the properties. He brought the tracks back into operating condition and he acquired freight cars to handle the coal business. 